This is a movie of my RC car shock dyno that I've made. Here's the dyno itself. Up top here is a load cell. On the side is a data port for things as the data coming off the load cell. There's also a position sensor on the inside of the dyno and also for the power for the stepper motor that is located on the bottom. In the front you have a yoke as you might see in a conventional dyno. And in the back you see a belt system that actually drives the dyno. So I now have the data cable plugged into the shock dyno from the electronics box. The electronics box has two buttons on them. The button on the right is for calibrating and the button on the left is for the actual dyno to start running and to take measurements. Here on my laptop I have Windows Excel installed and across the top of the screen you'll see things like travel difference, raw load cell, corrected load cell, inches per second. It's just the data that comes out of the program and populates the graphs. So let's start by calibrating the load cell in the dyno. And that now gives us a zero point for our load cell. I realize that's not very good, but we'll try to work with that. Okay, so now let's take one of our shock absorbers. This is from one of my Revos that I have. So we will install that first. I do have two nuts that screw on there to hold it on there, but for now, it's just too time consuming. So let's push our button. And we will swing this around to see what our graph output is. Again, I realize this isn't coming out very well with this camera, but at least to give you an idea of what the graph represents. So now, let's try putting on a different shock absorber with, as, with different weight. Let's try this one. Now, I believe this shock absorber I have or it has more compression than rebound, so let's check that out. You can see that this particular shock absorber, according to the purple line, is way stiffer on compression and it's a little bit lighter on rebound compared to the first shock absorber that we did. Let's try one more. As you can see by the yellow line, that is considerably stiffer than the first two shock absorbers. Thanks for looking.